Donna Brazel reportedly pondered replacing Clinton with Biden in 2016. Washington, Donna Brazel, the former interim head of the Democratic National Committee, says in a new book that she considered replacing Hillary Clinton as the party's 2016 nominee with Vice President Joseph R. Biden Jr. after Mrs. Clinton suffered a fainting spell, according to an account published Saturday by The Washington Post. In her book, Ms. Brazel writes of her frequent frustrations with the Clinton campaign, saying that she would tell its leaders that she could invoke powers from the DNC charter to oversee the process of replacing a nominee if she were to become disabled, something that has never happened in the modern era of presidential elections. The Post quotes Ms. Brazel as writing, Again and again I thought about Joe Biden adding that no matter my doubts and my fears about the election and Hillary as a candidate, I could not make good on that threat to replace her. The Post reported that Ms. Brazel had considered replacing Mrs. Clinton after she briefly collapsed in New York City following a September 11 commemoration ceremony. Howard Dean, a former DNC chairman, said Saturday on MSNBC that Ms. Brazel would have had no power to unilaterally remove or replace Mrs. Clinton. In a statement to NBC News, the Democratic National Committee said that in the event of death, resignation, or disability of a nominee, the chairwoman is to consult with Democratic governors and members of Congress about a replacement. Then, the statement said, the chairwoman must report to the Democratic National Committee, which is authorized to fill the vacancy. Contacted on Saturday, Ms. Brazel said she could not talk about the contents of the book because of a non-disclosure agreement with her publisher. Ms. Brazel's book, which also disclosed a highly unusual agreement that gave Mrs. Clinton's campaign a measure of control over DNC operations a year before she was nominated, says she was concerned about the faltering nature of the Clinton campaign, which, she wrote, had taken on the odor of failure, the Post reported. Ms. Brazel's assertion shed new light on frictions within the Democratic Party and revived lingering tensions between more mainstream Democrats and the more liberal supporters of Mrs. Clinton's principal challenger, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Ms. Brazel, according to the Post, got in heated disagreements with top Clinton campaign officials and accused them of treating her like a slave. Ms. Brazel took over the leadership of the Democratic National Committee in July 2016 after Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned from the post following the leaking of emails obtained by Russian hackers that showed that party officials were working together to the detriment of Mr. Sanders' campaign. Ms. Brazel, one of the National Party's most prominent African Americans, is a veteran of many presidential campaigns, serving as chairwoman of Al Gore's presidential campaign in 2000. She is also a frequent presence as a pundit on cable television. Her book, Hacks, the inside story of the break-ins and breakdowns that put Donald Trump in the White House, will be released on Tuesday. The Post said it had obtained an advance copy. The New York Times has not obtained a copy of the book, 